This is Cooper. Go ahead. Cooper, come. Whenever you call Cooper to yourself, you want to make sure that he sits before you pet him or you reward him. That way in his mind, when he approaches people, he'll learn to automatically sit in front of them instead of dance all around them or jump on them. Now when she tells Cooper to sit, she uses hand motions because dogs understand hand motions faster than they understand words. Now Cooper does understand the word, but sometimes it helps them to hear it and see it at the same time. So, Cammie, can you please demonstrate what a sit motion looks like? So watch. Sit. That's, yes. Do you see Cammie's hand, how she pulled it up? Just like so. And then if she were to tell him to lay down, she would <laughs> start all over again, just walk him around. There you go. Sit. Perfect. Down. So I, basically she's just pointing at the floor, but he understands what that means. Stay. Good job. Now stay, when she wants him to stay, she puts her hand out and kind of making a stop sign <laughs> with her hands. And that's a reminder to him that he's supposed to stay put where he is. Now, Cooper's been absolutely stellar for us. He's been awesome. But, say he didn't do what you told him to do the first time, you would need to follow through and make him do whatever you just asked him to do. Um, for example, if you're walking along and you tell him to sit, I don't know if he's going to do it, and he doesn't sit, sit, good job. You know what? Don't even... Don't tell him what to do next time. Just do. Just show her how you would place him in a sit and place him in a down. Make sense? Yes. So as you're walking along, say he doesn't sit for you. You would grab his collar and you would push down his rear at the same time. So you're pulling and pushing at the same time using pressure points. And then once he sits, you reward him and say, good job, Cooper. And then if you wanted him to lay down, and he wouldn't lay down, you would push between his shoulder blades and just push him right down. It's not being mean. You're just, you're just showing him that when you say the word, sit, you actually mean for him to sit. And then he realizes that he needs to actually listen to what you're saying and follow through and that he can't get away with anything. Having, having Cooper love you is not a problem whatsoever. You just need to have him learn to respect you. And he's really not a bad dog at all. He's really remarkable. So he just, he just needs to understand what your expectations of him are. Cooper, okay. place. Now when we use the place command, we point. See, like right then he didn't, he didn't do it. So then she pushed him down a little bit. But when we say the place command, we point directly to whatever we want him to get on. Because the place command is... In essence, see this thing right here? Get on it. So he's on his place board, which is wonderful. And yeah, he's done really, really well. We, what have we done? We've had toys go crazy around him. And he's got great impulse control. He's not perfect, <laughs> but he's really, really good. And if he gets off like that, she just put him right back on. He's not in trouble. Because, I mean, this is really hard, so this is a good exercise. But he just needs to realize that if he gets off, you're going to put him right back on. So it's like all the forces of nature are against him. And if he tries to get off, he just get put right back on. Now, as you're playing with him, keep in mind that that ball is Cammie's ball. It is not Cooper's ball. So if Cammie doesn't want Cooper to have the ball, she just takes it away from him. And Cooper... Cooper understands that. You see in his face, the way, the way he let go of it, he understands that it's Cammie's and that he, she was letting him play with it. Oh, that was wonderful. So don't be afraid of taking the toys away from them because they're, they're your toys, they're not his toys. And you're, you're giving him the privilege of playing with them. Now this is perfect right here. This probably will happen at some point at home. And he'll try to get off like he's doing. See, he's, <laughs> he's like flirting with getting off. He's like, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. So then she just consistently walks back and forth and uses her, her body pressure to put him back on the board. Yeah. She didn't even have to say anything to him. He understands. But she moves in toward him and he understands exactly what she wants. Now he's probably having a harder time right now because he is in a sit or he's standing up. Because obviously it takes more self-control not to jump off the board if you're standing up than if he was laying down. But that's why this is such a good practice right now because he's having to have an extra, extra amount of impulse control. He's doing really well. So even since we started, he's doing better. So you just may have to practice this at home if, if he has any weaknesses that make him want to get off the board. Good boy. Good job.
job. And then she gives it to him because he was being good. Good job. Okay, now we've been practicing leaving the room and having Cooper on his place board, and he's been doing very well. Um, the first thing I would have him do is I'd put him on his place board, and then I would walk to the kitchen. I mean, can you walk to the kitchen? Stay there. Good job. So in our kitchen, kitchen, I leave the doors open. So at first he could see me, and I would just do stuff in the kitchen. He could see I was there. And he was watching me, and he saw I was in the kitchen, and it was good. And he would stay put, because he could see me. But then slowly, I'd start closing the doors. And where I could still see him, and he could still kind of see me. But still, I was in another room and he was in here. And at first he wasn't so sure about it, but he warmed up to it. And he was kind of like, okay, I guess I'm just supposed to stay put. And then eventually, I closed the doors all the way. And he's still looking at her. But he's not trying to get off. He realizes he's supposed to stay put. Now, at home, I would practice this and do it for short little periods of time each day. And then work your way up. So, I don't know, if you can see through the crack of the door that he's doing really well, then I would come back in right now and tell him he did a good job of calling off the door. So that he realizes that you are coming back. Because I think they feel forgotten sometimes. They're like, gosh, she left me here. And so then they feel like they can get up. Well, you need to have, help him realize that, yeah, you, you left, but you're coming right back. So then... Yeah, I would do that. And then I, I don't know if you have a, a door with windows, but I think that was really great because I um, had him on the place board and I went out, out the back door where he could see me. You could do that. I think he can see you from there. And even though I wasn't present, he stay. could see me. So I was using the, the stay hand motion. And he was watching and yeah. Stay. This is great. So then she's going to shut the door. Stay. She's still looking at him. And he can still see her. And that way, if he starts to get off, she can come right back in and correct him. There you go. Good job. But he didn't even get off and he was standing up, so that was awesome. The main thing is to make, help him to realize that you're going to come back and you, you still love him and it's all still good even though you stepped outside the door. See? Like, that's perfect. Cammy. Can do open the door and close it and tell him to stay a couple times to show how they could do that. If he's having a really hard time, then I would shut the door for like two seconds and then open it up and tell him Good boy. exactly and tell him stay again. Just to remind him. Because it is hard when you're out of sight. And then I would do it again. Which I Good job. Yeah. <laughs> See, and he wasn't being bad just then. He just got mixed signals. So then she just puts him back right where he needs to go. And then he gets praised when he's on the place board. Only when he's on the place board. Good job. Good job. Good. That's good. And I would, I would specifically practice the open and closing of the door when you're using doors that don't have windows so that he realizes you're still there even though he can't see you. So yeah, he's been, he's been doing really well with that. Really well with that. I had him, I don't know, I think he was out of sight for like 20 minutes the other day. And he just hung there. He was doing absolutely beautiful. So you're probably going to have to practice it when you get home. And he's going to try to get off, but you just need to consistently put him back on. And he'll realize what you want from him. And he'll realize it's okay. And honestly, if he had a toy right now too, I mean, we're making it hard for him because, you know, it's a training session. <laughs> but if he were at home when he had a toy on his place board, he'd probably do even better. So you can give him a toy and let him realize that he's doing good and, and he'll be good for you. Right? Because he's a good boy.